morning, grade 6. Our lesson for today is exponential notation and solving equations with series of operations applying the GEMDAS rule. Exponential notation is expressing or writing numbers using exponents. Exponent indicates the number of times the base is used as a factor. Base is used as a factor as many as indicated by the exponent. Any number raised to 0 is always equal to 1. We have here a table writing numbers in exponential form, expanded form, and standard form. So the first one is 2 to the 4th. In expanded form, that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that is equal to 16. 5 squared, that is equal to 5 times 5 equal to 25. 10 cubed is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to 1,000. 125 raised to 0 is equal to 1. In standard form is equal to 1. 34 raised to the first power is equal to 34. Standard form is 34. In performing or solving equations with series of operations, Follow the PEMDAS or GEMDAS rule. Parenthesis or grouping symbol. Perform first the operations inside the parenthesis or grouping symbols. Exponent. Simplify or change the exponential form to standard form before performing the operations. Multiplication or division. Perform first the operation of multiplication or division from left to right. Addition and subtraction. Perform the operation of addition or subtraction from left to right. Example number 1. 12 times 3 divided by 4 plus 15 minus 19 is equal to 5. So how did we get the answer 5? So we have here our solution. 12 times 3 divided by 4 plus 15 minus 19. 12 times 3 is equal to 36 divided by 4 plus 15 minus 19. 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9 plus 15 minus 19. 9 plus 15 is equal to 24 minus 19 is equal to 5. Example number 2. 48 divided by 6 plus 7 times 9 minus 70 is equal to 1. So how did we get our answer 1? So we have here our solution. 48 divided by 6 plus 7 times 9 minus 70. 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8 plus 7 times 9 minus 70. So we have 7 times 9 is equal to 63 plus 8 minus 70. So 8 plus 63 is equal to 71 minus 70 is equal to 1. Example number 3. 4 squared minus 24 divided by 8 times 4 plus 32 is equal to 36. So here is our solution. 4 squared minus 24 divided by 8 times 4 plus 32. 4 squared is equal to 16 minus 24 divided by 8 times 4 plus 32. We have 16, 24 divided by 8 equal to 3 times 4 plus 32. So we have 16 minus 3 times 4 is equal to 12 plus 32. 16 minus 12 is equal to 4 plus 32 is equal to 36. Example number 4. Quantity 4 times 9 minus 12 plus quantity 72 divided by 8 times 3 is equal to 51. Solution, we have here quantity 4 times 9 minus 12 plus quantity 72 divided by 8 times 3. So 4 times 9 is equal to 36 minus 12 plus quantity 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9 times 3. So 36 minus 12 is equal to 24 plus 9 times 3 is equal to 27. 24 plus 27 is equal to 51. Example number 5. 
quantity 6 squared divided by 4 plus 8 times 3 minus 23 is equal to 10. Solution, we have quantity 6 squared divided by 4 plus 8 times 3. 6 squared is equal to 36 divided by 4 plus 8 times 3. 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9 plus 8 times 3 minus 23. So 8 times 3 is equal to 24 plus 9 minus 23. 9 plus 24 is equal to 33 minus 23 is equal to 10. So the answer is 10. Example number 6. Quantity 9 squared times 3 plus 12 minus quantity 9 squared divided by 3 minus 12 is equal to 240. Solution. Quantity 9 squared times 3 plus 12 minus quantity 9 squared divided by 3 minus 12. 9 squared is equal to 81 times 3 plus 12 minus 9 squared is equal to 81 divided by 3 minus 12. 81 times 3 is equal to 243 plus 12 minus 81 divided by 3 is equal to 27 minus 12. 243 plus 12 is equal to 255 minus 27 minus 12 is equal to 15. 255 minus 15 is equal to 240. That's all for today class. Until next time, goodbye.